OCB likes me to get up and, and go through operational issues, okay, which I go through our fixed picks percentage and all of that other KPIs that we're measures on. This time I told them since we've had so many inventory issues, what I would like to do is what I'm calling inventory 101, so I'm going to kind of be like Jeff, and I'm going to be the smartest guy in this room today on inventory. None of these, and I have some arrogant center managers that think they know it all that have the worst results. Okay, so you guys can just unload, and I'm fine with that. All right, so I'm Pete Provenzano, I'm the zone operations manager for the Commercial West Zone. TCI's core business. We sell tires and service. What else? That's what we do. Okay. So here we go. Inventory 101. All right. And we get this. Well, it's inventory time again. You do the rocks and I'll do the sticks. A little bit more to it than just this. Okay. Just a little bit more. Now, what are the benefits to good inventory management? Okay. First of all, you have higher employee efficiency and productivity. If your inventory is where it's supposed to be, if it's organized. Uh, when Bob gets a work order to go pull a tire order, Bob knows where to go get the tire instead of having to walk around the warehouse 27 times. Is this it? Nope. That ain't it. Well, I wonder where I put it. Okay, he has no idea. If it's where it's supposed to be, and we'll get to that in just a few minutes of how we sort our tires, okay, then Bob knows right where to go get it, okay? So that means increased sales for anybody in here that's a salesman because he's not looking around for something that you may not have, really. That improves the delivery form performance because he's pulling the tire for Jim so that Jim can deliver it. Jim's not standing around waiting for him to get the tires. That tire's there, it's loaded, they verified it, and he's gone. It reduces overtime naturally, okay? Because nobody is wasting time, everybody's moving. It increases higher inventory turnovers. Anybody know what that means? Higher inventory turnover? How many times? We measure, right, we measure how many times we turn our inventory over every year or every month, okay? Does anybody know what TCI, go ahead. Do you turn that on units or do you turn that on dollar amount? It's dollars and units, okay? It's measured both ways, okay? Does anybody know how much inventory TCI currently has in stock? distribution, commercial, and the retread plants today? Like all of them? <laughs> Put together. $268 million. That's it? That's it. I only got about $2 Okay. <laughs> commercial division only has $58 million of it, so the rest of it's in the plants and in the distribution centers. <laughs> so we want to turn this over, okay? The goal is six times a year, pretty unreasonable, I think. But we're at 4.4 as a company, so it's pretty good. Pretty good uh, to the sales folks for getting it moved, for our guys getting it in and out. So it's easier to complete a cycle count and your quarterly inventory. If you know where that inventory is at, or if it's in the sort order, I'm going to show you. Okay, boom, it's right there. You're not looking around, flipping pages, all of that stuff until we start scanning. We're still doing it manually. And it gives you accurate planning. You know how your turnover is. You know what to order. Even though we have the system in place, okay, with the recommended order, sometimes there's anomalies. You may have a hundred tire sale to a customer that you are not gonna have all the time. So it gives you a way to plan. Okay, so we order the tires and other products, all right? And I'll get to the other products. What happens next? They arrive, okay? Somebody's gotta unload them and they got to verify what's on that packing list. This is what we got, okay? Then they need to be put away in the warehouse. All right, so where do they go in the warehouse? So this is about warehouse organization. This is a center here in Texas, commercial. Matt recognizes it, <laughs> okay? This is pretty good, not bad, it's got nice racks. A lot of the labels are, are coming out, but if I was doing inventory here, which I did, okay, I had a hard time with the ones that didn't have a label. Okay, I had to go searching. Okay, this happens to be his aged inventory. All right, so it was 
put where he knew it was, that was good, but it was all different mixes of brands. You got Continentals, you got Michelins, you got some retreads in there. It's all different brands. So now we're flipping through 72 pages trying to find this product instead of knowing where to go. Here's his racks. This is very, very good. This is how it should be. His racks are marked G3. So when we're counting, we put G3 on there so we know where we counted these tires. All of these hand-cooked tires, truck tires are out. There's one problem. Does anybody see that problem? Well, it does, it, if it Donnie was there, it's still, that would be a problem, but he's not. The problem is we have retreads next to this. Retreads should not be there. Okay? <coughs> And this is a problem. This is a stack of X1s and then light truck tires. Okay? First of all, when we're counting, we need to verify. We need to be able to put our hands on every tire. We can't get through the middle of this. This took us quite a while to move this to verify these tires. And then there's this. This is not any of our centers. <laughs> but you could go to a handful of them and you're going to see this. All right, and I would lay a $5 bill on the table and say half of that stuff is in the, in the center manager's inventory and he doesn't even know it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so when we talk about stuff like this and we showed how some centers had gains, <coughs> this is how they get their gains. They start adding this stuff in and then they still don't do anything to organize it and Consequently, on their next inventory, they've got a fire drill trying to figure out what's what. Okay, so when we talk about how to organize our warehouses, there's two ways in the commercial division that we do that. We do that by a sort order. The most common is, is 01, which by vendor and by product, or number 11, which is vendor, class, and size. So in other words, the Michelin tire, it's a truck tire, class 10, Low Pro 22.5, right on down the line. Okay, and that's how all your tires are ordered. Your count sheet, when you do inventory, prints out that way. It makes it very simple to go right down the line and count all those tires. It's right there. You're not flipping through pages. So this is what has to happen. When I talk about inventory and our issues, I think where we're missing the boat, where we've missed the boat, is we're not doing the basics correct. Okay? So... After those tires are brought in and received and validated, that bill of lading is brought into the center manager or the admin. They should have had the invoices, if it's Michelin, faxed to them already. They should have come over to the fax machine. So now they need to match that bill of lading with the invoice numbers. They need to verify all the inv invoice match what arrived. And they do that because the warehouse person that's unloading is going to either put a circle around the number saying, yes, I got all these, or he's going to write on there, I only got nine. Yes, sir. Have the manufacturers ever thought about putting on their label some type of that, uh, radio frequency thing so that as far as inventory counts or where the tire is going, you know, it would be automatically counted because of the value of the tire. We figure it could be that expensive. Right. Once we get into scanning, there will be barcodes on the tires and that, that exact thing will happen. It's being tested now in certain locations. New tires are easy. It's the retreads we're having an issue with. Okay. So once you do that, if it's an EDI, which an EDI is an electronic um, situation where a vendor, <coughs> we put our order in, it's transmitted electronically to them, they create the bill of lading, they create the shipping, and then once it's shipped, okay, or it's picked up by the carrier from their warehouse, it's brought to the center, okay? So that automatically comes into our AS400. These are Michelin bill of ladings right here, so now they have to go into their, that screen and they have to choose which one of those that they want to receive. And they can tell because the bill of lading number is on there. So here it is again. They'll put a three up there for vendor number, which is Michelin. They'll see they, they received all the tires that were in 7296338. They put a one next to it, and it brings it over to the receiver screen. Okay, so now what they have to do 
is these are these ones are already have been received by this particular center but now they have to go into each one and verify the price on the invoice against what is in the AS400 okay now some vendors give us discounts all right so what happens is we have to take that discount off the invoice Michelin we don't get the discount. We just get 2%. We don't get it anymore. They just automatically reduce the price 2%. Continental still gives us 2%. Hankook gives us up to 4%. And so we have to take that invoice off or that um, discount off of the invoice. So we have to calculate that. Thanks, guys. 